Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle here, Nurse Michelle here. You are on a channel where I make nursing videos, lifestyle videos, and faith-based videos. I like to talk about Jesus. In today's video, we are talking about how to make more money, how to maximize your career as a nurse. Where is the money in nursing? I'm going to be showing you guys tips and tricks to work smarter and not harder and make more money as a registered nurse. If you guys like content like this, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up because it's going to be a good one. Now let's get into how to make thousands of dollars as a registered nurse. Before I get into the video though, I want to shout out this brand. Pretty Pose, I'm going to link them down in the box below. They have the most gorgeous lippies, lip glosses ever. Like super pretty lip gloss here. Such a pretty color and this is called Legally Pink. So cute, easily applicable and yeah, I'm just obsessed and it smells so good. Um, these lip glosses are very affordable. I will link them in the box below. Please go check out that brand. Anywho, let's get into ways to maximize your money as a registered nurse. The first way you can maximize your income as a registered nurse is by becoming an aesthetic nurse. So yes, we all know cosmetics and the beauty industry is a huge deal. There are people looking for ways to look younger, to look better. Becoming an aesthetic nurse is a way to improve and increase people's self-esteem. You're probably asking, what is an aesthetic nurse? So an aesthetic nurse performs non-surgical procedures and therapies to patients. So many of these procedures include like the anti-aging procedures like injections of Botox, lip injections, um, laser hair removal, dermabrasion, facial treatments, and things of that nature. To become an aesthetic nurse, all you really need is an associate's degree in nursing or a bachelor's degree in nursing, but to become more competitive, you will need a bachelor's um, in my opinion, but you just have to be a registered nurse to become an aesthetic nurse. Now these, I've seen a lot of these pages on Instagram, so it's pretty popular um, specialty within the field of nursing. So you have to be certified by the Plastic Surgery Certification Board in order to work as an aesthetic nurse. Aesthetic nurses make so much money, anywhere ranging from about $43 an hour. Um, according to ZipRecruiter, they make a ton of money and it's a pretty fun career in my opinion. So up next we have the float pole nurse. Oh my goodness, float pole nurses make so much money. Like they make so much money doing the same job everybody else is doing. This is another way to work smarter and not harder. So float pole nurses are nurses who are pretty much flexible. They are contracted to work anywhere in the hospital. So they're not bound to one specific unit. This is why it might be a, bit, a little inconvenient being a float pole nurse because they kind of send you wherever they need you. So you can be an IC nurse or you can be on the med surge floor just working. Because of this flexibility, because of this inconvenience in a sense, um, you get paid a lot of money. So in my hospital, float pool nurses make anywhere from $42 to like $47 an hour. And this is such a lucrative field within the hospital setting. Third way to make more money as a registered nurse is by working in a procedural care area. Y'all know that I work in the PACU. The PACU is a, well, in a sense, a procedural care area. We take a, we take care of a lot of the post-operative patients, um, places like the OR, like endoscopy, endo nurses, um, cardiac cath nurses. The reason I say procedural care areas make more money is because of the call shifts. They get to work calls. I've made a video how much money I made as a nurse and I had a ton of comments and people commented what specialties they were doing and how much money they were making. And someone commented this, this is how much money they're making as a cardiac cath nurse. So these procedural care areas give you the opportunity to make a ton of money um, because of the on-call shifts. Whenever you work calls, you get paid time and a half. So a lot of these call shifts, you know, really increase and they really make the difference within your paychecks. So as a PAC nurse, my base pay when I was not PRN was like 30 one or $33 an hour, but with call, that is time and a half, so I got to maximize a lot of my paychecks. Um, but yeah, take this person's experience and their testimony that procedural care areas do make a ton of money. 
the last tip is by becoming a PR nurse. Y'all know how much I rave about being a PR nurse. I love it. But with that being said, PR nursing is not for everybody. There are people out here who have like really big responsibilities so they can't afford to live an unpredictable life um, so as a peer nurse you don't get health insurance you don't get dental insurance um, you do get a retirement plan well as far as my hospital I do have a retirement plan with them now um, but as far as the other benefits you don't qualify this is why they pay you um, a lot more money as a peer nurse and sometimes as a peer nurse you, there might not be shifts available for you at your specific facility so before you just wake up and quit your job to become a peer nurse just make sure that the facility you are at can offer you at least adequate hours if you want to work more than the minimum requirement but yeah becoming a peer nurse literally like skyrocketed my income so that's what I, I'm doing and I love it so far I hope you guys found this video helpful once again do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you've not already subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye